then everyone and welcome back to Glam and Style with Pooja. Still on that Maasai Market haul that I had so much fun doing. I told you I went there on a Monday morning. I had the time of my life and in the last episode you saw my homeware haul from the Maasai Market, from the Triangle Market here in Westlands. And now today we're going to be looking at my top three fashion picks from the Maasai Market. Keep watching. Well girls, we've all had that time in our lives where we feel the urge, the need to buy something, you know, to get something that will spruce up an old outfit, just to get something to make us feel good. I mean, I cannot even count the number of times I have said to my mom, my sister or my friend that uh, I, need to, I need to just buy something, anything. Um, and there are times where, let's face it, we don't have enough money to go out and buy that, you know, big bag, a big bad handbag or, um, you know, spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes or whatever it is. The best place to go to then is the Maasai market. It's very reasonable. You get some really, really nice high fashion stuff and guess what? You're supporting the local economy. So why not? Now there's so many great things you can get at the Maasai market. Uh, when I was filming the last episode, I was wearing that really awesome pair of pants that are like my go-to pants when it's hot when it's humid uh, they're even really nice to take to the beach so yes those pants are definitely one of my favorite picks from the Maasai market but uh, what I'm looking at today are three high fashion pieces that you can get again for a thousand bob or under from the Maasai market so if for 1k is your budget and you still want to get something that's gonna make your day and you know change your wardrobe then uh, this is what it is I'm going to show you my pick number one I'm not that much of a jewelry person as you can tell I don't really wear much jewelry but a statement necklace from the Maasai market um, this actually was 500 bob and it's beautiful it really really is I love all the little details on it um, if you're wearing like how I'm wearing an all black outfit today like it's just it's so nice to just add that extra something to any outfit, uh, whether it's a dress, you could wear this at, in the day, at night, whatever it is. 500 bob, you wouldn't even believe it. Um, that's Maasai Market magic for you. I picked this particular one because I really am a fan of gold and um, I love this vintage -y, rustic look that this one has. And um, well, now you know, uh, 500 bob is about how much you should be paying for these necklaces. They do have the beaded necklaces and all those things, but I just feel like they're not me. I know a lot of people who pull them off really well, but this is definitely more me. A uh, statement piece uh, from the Maasai Market. And um, we've all owned or bought slippers from the Maasai Market. And gone are the days where they would be, you know, a pair of chappals with a little bit of beadwork. These new types of slippers that the Maasai Market has are high fashion, you know, they have the gladiator ones, they have lots of beadwork, they have, um, you know, designs that, you know, you'd get tired just deciding which one you want. And um, what I actually picked up was this drop dead gorgeous pair. I mean, look at that. Again, with what I'm wearing, absolutely perfect. Um, it actually opens up and that bit goes over like your shin, your calf, I don't know what it's called, like this little bit here. And um, it looks beautiful when you wear it. Uh, the one disclaimer I will give you for the Maasai market, do not just ask them, can I have a size 5 or a size 6 and then take their word for it. Um, you gotta try them on, you have to see if they fit because normally to make a sale they'll say yes this is your size and you go home and realize it's not. So very very important when you are picking up shoes from the Maasai market. Um, a thousand bob is what this pair of slippers cost me believe it or not. And um, I could wear these to the beach, I could wear these out, I would wear these on a night out clubbing, I would, I'm not even kidding. Um, clubbing in flats is the best thing to do. So. Um, yeah, dropped it gorgeous. A thousand bob is what I paid and I'm completely obsessed with these. So that's my pick number two. And finally, it's weird. I keep getting these from everyone. Um, you know, when we go for lunches, when we go for like a, a party, they're like a great return gift as well. Um, again, 600 bob, it's a clutch bag. 
really nice really handy and now they have them with zippers as well so if you're one of those people who um, loses your bag or like tends to drop your lipstick or whatever when you're out um, they have really really nice clutch bags now um, 600 bob is what I paid I think I got kind of lucky I don't know how much you're supposed to pay um, but super beautiful it's got this nice fake leather finish but it looks really chic and nice when you hold it so this is my last and final fashion high glamour pick from the Maasai market um, 500 bob, 600 bob, 1000 bob, that's what I paid for this haul of mine so it was uh, very very easy on my pocket and I know I'm going to get a lot of views out of them so if you've been shopping at the Maasai market, if you've got some great picks and some great deals that you'd like to share with me, please post the pictures um, tag me on the pictures, uh, you know, share it's uh, what helps us to shop better and you know, help each other out so yeah, let me know how your Maasai market shopping goes let me know about some of the great pieces, homeware or otherwise that you've picked up from the Maasai market and um, yeah just remember buy local uh, help the economy and uh, shop at the same time have lots of fun love you guys thanks for watching if you'd like to see more hauls from the Maasai market you know what to do just um, you know put in the comment box below and don't forget to like share and subscribe